All right, everyone. So we are standing in a little studio apartment above my workshop and I'm going to film it. It's down to the studs. I just passed my structural inspection here. And so I think I'm going to film finishing it out. Um, I'm not sure if it'll be one video or a bunch of little videos, but we'll, uh, we'll document the progress. So it's a studio apartment. Um, we're going to have a kitchen right here, kitchenette. Uh, we got plumbing, water for an island with a sink in it. Um, got a little hot water heater over there behind the door. Um, little uh, full bath here. Um, tub shower, the toilet, sink, pocket door, and then a bed nook. Um, the bed will come out a long way, I'm thinking, and I might even frame a built-in bunk bed above it. Um, and then we've just got a little closet over here and all told this whole little apartment is maybe around 400 square feet. Uh, I think it's going to be a really neat space and this should make for a good video or some good videos so I hope you enjoy. I've got everything hung except for a little bit in the bathroom where I need to shim walls. So this uh, little area here is where the bed's going to go. I've got the ceiling totally done. I reinstalled the pocket door, um, fixed it, squared it, plumbed it. And then we've got the little area here, vanity, um, sink, whatever, toilet there. And then I'm pretty excited to do this wall right here because that's going to be the kitchen. I've got my water heater hung behind the door swing. So I have to put a little door stop on the floor so you don't smash into it. And then I've got this part here. Um, that down there is for laundry. So I've got this all drywalled in. So, so I wasn't able to film myself finishing this drywall for a number of reasons, but uh, don't worry, there is a time lapse of me doing a bit of drywall work later in the video. Um, that stuff you see on the floor is the white oak wood filler. I use the same utility grade flooring that uh, at one point you could get it for 72 cents a square foot. All right, so my friend Sean finished this, uh, same guy he did downstairs. And we got kind of a blank slate here, so I'm pretty excited. We're gonna get working on this kitchen here, so let's get going. Hey, if you're interested in this project and you wanna hear the backstory, I wanna let you know that if you go to my page, um, I've got a playlist that has every video that I've ever made about this building. I'll also put a link above and in the description. Um, so when I was a young kid, uh, pretty much all I wanted to do was stay home and play with blocks or Legos or build things. Um, I was always off in my own world and I really, really disliked being told that I had to go somewhere or stay somewhere for a long period of time. Um, I can still remember uh, when, I, when I was in first grade, I thought that school ended after grade sixth because that's where my school went to and I was really excited when I got to third grade because I was halfway to being done with school and and I really I just remember wanting to go off and do my own thing like I, I had really almost no interest in school I wanted to build forts I wanted to be in the woods I wanted to make a tree house um, I just didn't want to be stuck there for eight hours and I remember being devastated when my mom told me that uh, that school goes to 12th grade, um, literally crushed. And I've basically spent the rest of my life scheming to find a way to be able to do what I want without having to worry about the uh, financial obligations of life. And I've come to a point where I've amassed some skills and a bit of saving and that's really the reason that we bought this building. Um, it's three units. There's a storefront which I'll run my business out of. Um, there's a large apartment that my wife and I will live in debt free. And there's this small apartment that I'm going to fix up right here that will hopefully be a way for us to make some income without feeling the pressure of always having to be on top of our game in regards to our business. It's just going to provide us a, a margin of error to take the stress off and really hopefully 
allow us to pursue our passions uh, stress-free or with less stress. So that's that's kind of the whole goal and the point of, of this apartment and this building in general. So that said, I hope you enjoy it and we're gonna we're gonna get into it and I'll chime in here and there for the rest of the video. I got these guys basically all built. Um, so now we're gonna do something to kind of finish them off really nice. All right, I think this part makes it pretty cool. You take these strips of maple, because I mean, I always have leftover scraps of wood and long strips that are otherwise useless, and you just can glue them on, but we'll go through the process. It's, it's pretty easy. All right, there you go, all clamped up. I need a couple more long pieces for the horizontals here, so I'm gonna go do that while these guys dry. Super excited about this stove, but also super excited about all this pattern making material that came packaged in it. Wow, this thing is super sharp. It's like perfect small apartment appliance. Really excited for this. <laughs> Very shiny. Alright, so this is going to go in here. And I have attempted to lay it out so that the line on the bottom of this lines up with the future drawer that goes right here. So that line will hopefully match up. So what I have to do is to put something for the stove to sit on so it can be lifted up, which is this right here. So we're gonna put that in. I was actually so impressed with this little oven that I decided to become an affiliate of Empava. So if you use my referral link and the code 50acres, you'll get an 8% discount. So if you're looking for any appliances, uh, I'd really appreciate it if you use my link and support the channel. Let's uh, take a look at this. I'm stuck on my bandsaw blade. It actually looks pretty sharp in there. Um, it fits like perfect. Um, so it's going to get kind of dressed up. It's going to get a strip across the top that I'll probably grain match. And same with across the bottom. Okay, so that's what I was talking about. Lining up with the bottom of the drawer there. Looks like it got a little bit too low. But I don't think it's worth messing with. I think you can put like pots and pans or whatever down here. When the floors are uneven, um, like these, and they're quite uneven, I like to build the bases separate from the cabinets because then you can just level the base and then put the cabinets on top knowing it's level. So we got that shim. Got that nice and level. Yeah. Got it. Nice and level side to side. Alright, we got that good and fastened down. Before. And anyway, this would look really stupid to have these come out right in the middle of the cabinet instead of back here uh, or back here behind the drain.
Wouldn't you guess I'm out of crimp rings when I need one more? Just got to get this guy right here. <sighs> That's how it goes. All right, so got this thing all clamped together. Um, these have to go in a certain way because I uh, lined up the grain and matched grain on these details here so that it flows through. Um, and so I've got these cabinet screws. Uh, I only have two inches, which are a little bit long, so I've got to put them all in at an angle and I've basically pre-drilled everywhere that I'm gonna drive them. And so I'm just going to go around and uh, drive these in before I remove the clamps and then I'm going to fasten the cabinets down to the base that I pre-built. Alright, and now I've got strapping um, under here running where the cabinets meet. So I'm going to do uh, six of these screws. Um, to err on the side of caution. It's going to be a little bit ugly, but I'd rather have it be safe and not fall over just to keep this thing held down. So I built these boxes off camera. I might build these ones on video and make a video about it. I've improved my technique since the last uh, cabinet video I made so I got some new stuff to show you guys and now we've got to think of a creative way to close this in uh, so we'll put some kind of decorative paneling on that and then we'll wrap trim around to this corner over here to this end so that we can kind of handle the little gap by the floor and everything
All right, I wanted to put this uh, cooktop up here to see what it'll look like once I get the counters here, which I don't have yet. Um, but that's gonna be pretty sharp. Super excited about that. All right, well, I'm pretty excited about how this is coming. We're gonna have to end this video here just because um, I need some stuff that I don't have. And so next video, we'll put the drawers in, the cabinet faces, which are already made. Um, same with this over here. And I'll also show you how I'm gonna trim out the top of this um, using a template to make a piece that fits in here. And we'll slide under this once I undercut it. Hey. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, probably next week um, or next two weeks will be the next video in this series. Hope you enjoy.